Hello, collective. This is Nikki. I hope y'all are having a good day. I'm going to ask Spirit to come into this reading to surround us with the white light of the Holy Spirit. What messages do you have for this timeless message? Take what you need and leave the rest for others. We're starting with the full card, taking a leap of faith at something. The Nine of Cups. That's your decision whether or not you want to be happy. And we have the Devil card, but you have some toxic energy around you, collective. What is this message about for the collective, please? Nine of Cups. We have Wish Fulfillment. We have the Ten of Cups. We have Love. We've got the Queen of Pentacles. Okay? And then we have the Page of Wands. So, you may dealing with, be dealing with someone who is noncommittal. And they, they're not ready for what you're ready for. We have the nine of pentacles here, but we have the page of wands. So one person's ready and the other person's not. It's like you're further ahead in your life than this person is. The, the love is there. You want to move forward with this person. But at the same time, I think you, you realize that, that this person is not going to be a part of your life because they're not ready in theirs. They're, they're not doing anything to to make it better that they're, they're probably living off people or they're probably not working or they, they don't have any kind of agenda for their life they don't have any chutzpah like you have collective okay it's like you want to take a you want to take the leap of faith you have this nine of cups this wish fulfillment but this person could have some drinking problems or some sort of addictions that they're dealing with maybe even a, an addictive personality disorder or something and we have Love, we got the Ten of Cups. You have the burden here of, of, of taking care of this individual, taking care of the family, and that there's a new path here, okay? And you care for this person a lot, but it, it also has has uh, toxicity, and it, it may just blow up in your face here, and you, you realize that, you know, dealing with this person, that you love him or you love her, but... Is it even worth it? Because you're thinking about, I got to get this person. I have to decide whether or not I want to be with this person or or end it because this person is not going to be the caliber of person that I need. Uh, it's not going to be the caliber of the person that I need in my life for the long term. So maybe this is just, just for a right now situation because it's like I'm already doing everything. I'm already making the coin, making the pentacles here. And I love this person. I care for this person. Yeah, but there may be someone else that you're headed to. Okay. What you want, this person may not be able to give you, so you may end up end up breaking up with this person. But this person has a lot of a lot of toxic energy around them, uh, and they're I don't think that they're ready collective for uh, for what you're ready for. They don't have the chutzpah that you have. Okay. Give me more messages for the collective here, please, spirit. What other messages do you have for the collective? I heard a click. Let's see. Got the page of cups. They, it's not that they don't love you. We got the knight of wands, but you're you're so much more further in your goals and your the knight of cups. And then we have the death card. Okay, so there may be some sort of of disagreements between the two of you. You know, maybe you all have already broken up and gotten back together a couple of times. We got the emperor. There's there's a, a um kind of like an equal love partner out there for you next to her next to her or him we got the emperor and the empress okay so this person is not your this person collected is not who you're meant to be with there's somebody there's an equal out there for you okay an equal male or equal female out there who's going to give you the life that you deserve and that you desire and that you need it's not this person i mean you may have a good time with this person there may be something there for you but ultimately what what you see here is is leaving okay it's it's over with it's going to be over with because this person can't give you the attainment the happiness that you need in your life maybe for now but never ever for the long term you have somebody in your life who's going to give you all that you need to live all that you need sir to to survive okay there's somebody out there for you and and you're going to meet this person and this person is going to be who exactly who they were meant to be for you okay so we got this this page of cups here you you have arguments because this person may be 
probably is not that educated or they don't have, maybe they, they were a high school or school dropout in general. They're not doing anything. They don't have their GED. Well, what are you doing with your life? You know, what have you been doing all these years, you know, to better yourself? And they haven't, they haven't done that. And you're like, wow, I'm here in my life and you're back here. I need somebody who is at, who is at my level, but you way, way, way behind me. Doesn't mean they don't love you. That doesn't mean they don't care for you. They're, this is the kind of person that probably hustles for a living. They may uh, work in scrap yards or picking up scrap or doing something, cans or something to make a living, to put food on the table, different things like that, or hustling in the neighborhood, cutting grass, raking leaves, shoveling snow, you know, doing little penny ante stuff for neighbors or something like that to, to put, to keep liquor in their pocket or food. It's like I said, you know, everybody needs a little love, but this person, they don't have any hoods, but they just don't. They probably had a real, a real, I'm hearing for some of them, a real tragic childhood. Uh, just the, their lifestyle that they live, the opportunities that was afforded to them, they didn't take because of what was going on in their lives probably doing a lot of drinking like I said that <clears throat> we got the, the devil card so this person is, is is toxic I'm hearing toxic by default because of the, the way they live they probably live with with a family member or, or mother or father who, who had the same toxic energy this is what they lived by this is what they grew up around okay I see you eventually you know walking into something else for you this is a third party situation okay honestly you probably will end up um Stepping out on this person, stepping out on your partner to be with somebody brand new. And even, or just ending it. And you realize, I'd have met this person, you know, um, that, wow, we really, really click. But I don't want to hurt Joseph. I don't want to hurt Josie. But I, this man or this woman, they really, really, you know, it's, it's, it's right up my alley. You know, I really dig this person, you know. So you may at some point collective end up hurting somebody's feelings, you know, because they're not meant to be with you, um, they, you know they still have a lot of a lot of living to do, and that's not your fault. You know what I'm saying? That, that they are a kind and loving person, but I'm gonna pull a card for that person. <clears throat> they don't have the hooks, but that you need to survive. Okay, give me one card for the collective person, please. <clears throat> one card. And we have here thorns weave together the crown that you deserve. This is you. You're weaving to weaving together the crown that you deserve, and it's not that person. You like I said, you all you all may click, you all may have feelings together, but ultimately that's not your person. Okay, you are going to meet your emperor or your empress, but your person still has a lot of growing up to do. And plus, they need they have some addictions that they need to they need to to deal with too. All right, all right, collective. I hope this message resonates. Thank you all, and I'll see you all soon.